there everybody, this is the Wild Report, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can participate in real scientific research right at your own house with just a smartphone. Let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is download the iNaturalist app from your Play Store. Now I have Android, so the Play Store is the Google version, but it also works on iOS. So once you have it open, you just go to the search bar and you type in iNaturalist. Just like that, one word. So it should look like that when you put it into the search bar correctly. Now you just click on the app there, and it pulls up the download page. Now you all probably know what to do here, you click install accept the permissions, and the app begins to download. Now once this is done, I'll show you how to create an account. Now once the application has been installed, you can open it right here. So we'll open it up, and it will bring you to the welcome screen. So we've got a couple of slides here. If you want, you can go through and read these, but as of now, we don't need to. Let's get started, all right? So we're going to skip this. I'm just going to show you how to create your profile. Now it's really convenient if you have a Facebook or Google+, Plus. you just click that button, and it'll guide you through. But the other version is to sign up with email. So you just put in your email, make a password, and a username, and you're done. That's all you have to do to make your account. Now, you can find wildlife anywhere. But if you don't have a yard or a forest, a great place to look is a public park where there are boundless insects, reptiles, and birds that you can find. There it is. That is a absolutely tiny slimy salamander. Here we go. Look at that. Look how tiny he is. It's absolutely minuscule. I've never seen a salamander so small before. That's a tiny little white spotted salamander. That's a really cool find. Alright, now once you get to the My Observations tab of iNaturalist, you're just going to click this green plus, which is right down here. And for me right now, I'm going to click take photo. And that will bring up the camera. Now here is that little salamander. And I have him in some moist soil down here in this bucket. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take the camera. Make sure you have the whole animal in the frame. And I'm just going to... If it'll stay still, snap a picture just like that. All right. So there we go. You can have the option to retry or click OK. We'll click OK. So now you can put in the species name. So if you don't, if you do know what the name is, like for this one, slimy salamander. There we go. Click on it, and you can. You can add notes if you want, you don't have to, so that's good, and now you just click the check, and you are all good to go. And it is uploading right now, and this will be used by scientists all across the world, which is a really awesome thing to think about. Now, here, from the My Observations tab, you can view all the animals and pictures that you've added. But not only can you add these observations, you can also view the observations of others. So let me show you a really cool feature of this app. Let's say I want to find a corn snake really bad, but I don't know where to look. See these three lines right there on the top left? Now I can click on those, go to Explore, and here's a map of my area, okay? Now the upper right corner, I have a magnifying glass. I can click that at magnifying glass, and I'm going to find fine observations near me, okay? So that's going to load, and now I can search for any species that I want. Let's try this slimy salamander. There's, there's got to be a slimy salamander somewhere around here. Northern slimy salamander. One observation. Okay. Yay. Now guess what? Here, uh, here's me, and here's the observation. If you guys remember, that's our observation. And I've already showed you that one, remember earlier in this episode? That's my picture, see? The wild report, there's the picture we uploaded, and it's on the map. So, especially in an area where you have more people and more wildlife, you can type in any species in that search bar, bring it up just like that. You click on the pip, and it'll show you exactly where it is, a picture, and the scientific name. So that's a really cool way that you can use this app. Before I end this episode, I want to give a huge shout out to the team over at ScienceStarter.com. 
who have created a website dedicated to helping people find citizen science projects in their area. You can make a SciStarter account to begin your journey beyond iNaturalist and into more projects which you can keep track of in the SciStarter dashboard. Once signing up for a free account, you will get a personalized user profile that assists with the participation in and the managing of multiple projects at a time. Another really cool feature of this user dashboard is that at the bottom right of the profile settings page, you can add your iNaturalist username. Once this is done, every time you upload a photo to iNaturalist, that activity is tallied on the SciStarter dashboard. Well everybody, that just about concludes this tutorial. Make sure you download the iNaturalist app, check SciStarter.com, and begin participating in scientific research right now. This is The Wall Report, signing out.